What is up, everybody? It's Demo with Demo Vapes. Thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, welcome to the live stream. This is going to be a fairly short stream. Uh, pretty much the purpose of this stream is going to be to give away the stuff for the 1,000 sub giveaway. So um, I know it's been a minute, and I have had 1,000 subs for a while. But, um, you know, it's one of those situations that... Uh, I had to I had to get all the stuff from different companies and whatnot, and so it just kind of went went on and on and on. And now I have everything, and I'm ready to give it all away. And um, you know, we're we're doing it. And it, I've been, you know, as I said, I've had a thousand subs for a little bit. So you know, this is the official thousand sub giveaway. But uh, you know, I wanted to thank you guys all for subscribing and and whatnot. So um, yes, uh, live David Chill says yes, my buddy demo, love you, bro. <laughs> Love you too, man. Um, so, so a few things. This giveaway will be open to people internationally. However, you do have to pay for your own shipping. So, um, and it, that's the case for uh, domestic too. So the cost of the flat rate box to you is going to be the cost of this giveaway. And, um, you know, that's kind of just how it, how it has to be. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'll start showing you some of the stuff that I've got for you. Um, and there's a few more things coming in that should be coming in tomorrow for this. So, you know, there's going to be some things that are just kind of going to be a surprise. So that is just going to be kind of how it goes. Uh, Ferrari is up for grabs. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's see here. Oh, we've got Nightbot. Yeah. Sorry guys. I integrated Nightbot. So, uh, you know, it's, it's happening. It's no, nothing personal. Nightbot's on the prowl. So, um, I don't even know what that message was, but, uh, you know, yeah, that's that's it. This is a de this is a demo party, not a demo pro par party, but you know, bye. Anyway, that's uh, that's uh, let's let's move along. I will show you guys some of the things that I've got here. So, some of the people that sponsored this giveaway, um, and you know, sponsored meaning that they sent me stuff to give away to you guys. Uh, we've got Blaz Eliquid through uh, you know, he gave me some some Blaz to give away. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this was for a giveaway, so but I'm going to give it away. Blaz from Nick Bissett over at Daily Vape TV. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Um, let's see here. So we've got that. We also have um, the guys over at Nitro Cold Brew Coffee e-liquid. They sent me a number of things, some to give away and also some to try. But I have these three liquids from them. I'm going to be giving these away. Um, you guys are all X1-ing, I know. All right, I see an X1. Uh, I'll, we'll get to that in a second, but got these to give away here. So I've got uh, white chocolate mocha, macchiato, and vanilla bean. So I've got those, and I have I've tried some of the other ones, and you know it's not my jam. I'm not much of a coffee liquid guy, but uh, it's uh, you know it's some some people I'm sure will love it. Brett from the Cloudy Vapor hooked it up big time. He got me a bunch of stuff to give away. So uh, let's show some of this stuff off. So I've got. Um, I've got two mesh 24 RTAs from Vandy Vape. Um, if you guys haven't tried this, I've actually used these and despite being pretty hard to wick, they actually provide some really good airflow and some nice flavor. So, uh, so, oh man, Nightbot's going after symbols. Sorry guys. I'll have to change that. Let me see if I can, I can just mess with that real quick. Hold on. Let's see here. I've got Nightbot pulled up here. Let's see here, commands, spam protection, excess symbols, options. Let's just kind of pull that out just a little bit. We'll go like that, submit. Perfect, okay, so I've kind of relaxed the symbol protection just a little bit, so, all right. So anyway, uh, yeah, Nightbot, uh, you know, Night Nightbot's there for, for a reason. The reason why I have Nightbot on is because that Nightbot is, uh, has a giveaway function. So I can, I can, uh, I can do a giveaway here on the channel and it'll randomize. So, um, it's, an, yeah, it's the automated moderator. I'm going to make it a little looser cause I'm not a fan of the super, super restrictive, you know, Nightbot stuff. So anyway, Mesh RTA got this and, uh, you know. I, I know some people aren't going to like these, but you know what? I got these for the giveaway. So Mesh RTA, <laughs> got, Brett gave me one of these guys. <laughs> 
So whoever ends up with this is just going to have a laugh because this thing is ridiculous. And uh, it did come to me from Brett with a little kind of messed up stuff there. But uh, yeah, so this, uh, if you don't know what this is, go look it up on YouTube. It's one of those things that you can change from like an RTA to an RDTA to a RDA to, uh, you know, whatever. Either way, it's a thing. Um, but some of the cooler stuff from him. Um, you like the quad flex? See, I've never used it, and it's. I always thought it looked kind of interesting. Um, oh, you were spammed for saying boy. Oh, man, I'm going to have to make that a whitelist word. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so I, I, I increased the symbols and letters. Um, so you have, you have like 15 now. So you can, you can, you can go up to like 15. So um, anyway, Twisted Mess is squared. RDA. I know this is a 22 millimeter RDA, but I don't know about you guys, but I love Twisted Messes Squared. Um, this is some pretty awesome. I, I, I briefly thought about stealing this because he gave it to me and I was like, oh man, I kind of want to steal that. But uh, I don't know what color it is because I haven't opened it. So Twisted Messes Squared. This is for you guys. Oh. You've got uh, Joytech Dolphin. Joytech Dolphin is going to be be going up for, for giveaway. As well as this is a Inakin smart box, and I actually got this in a giveaway from Grim Green. I want a giveaway from him, and I just never put it together. So this is a brand new product, and uh, at least I think it is right. Is it sealed in there or what? Oh, whoops. Let's just double check. I just want to make sure everything's in here. Yes. Okay. This is all brand new. Everything's sealed up. It's not like sealed up, but it's. Uh, you know, it's whatever. So cool. So we've got those things from Brett at the Cloudy Vapor. Uh, oh, Mike K, in answer to your question, this is going to be a two-person giveaway. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a giveaway for one box right here. And we're going to do a giveaway for another box in the comments of this video. So that way people who do a rewatch, they aren't, you know, screwed. So, um, you know, you can you can win a box by being here. And you're going to win a box by commenting X1 on the replay. So um, that way it's fair to everybody. And we'll do that. Let's see here. Um, Lars, I used to laugh at my ass off smoke weed. It's fine with me. I mean, <laughs> you do whatever you want. One, just a few more things right here. We have from Stan, Tenacious TX Vapes, and Mr. Just Right, I do believe, helped out with this too. We have a package from tenaciousTXVates.com. So let's see, what uh, what do we got here? This is going to be legit, guys. It's a pretty, pretty heavy package. So, all right. Stan, hooking it up. And uh, Mr. Just Right. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and pull these, uh, pull these open so that way you guys can see what we've got. I mean, you know, it's pretty obvious what this is all going to be, right? But, all right, we have one Lucid RDA that's going to go in the giveaway. And, sorry, it's a little loud for you guys. What looks to be a Copper Dreamer. Copper Dreamer, man. Oh, this is, this is the ticket item right here. This is the really big ticket item. I know everyone's going to be digging that, so... Um, and we'll go over how I'm going to do the boxes. Cause you know, it's, it's going to be really random guys. I'm, I'm not going to be, we're not going to be doing any sort of like, Oh, pick your items or pick your boxes or anything like that. It's going to be, you know, one of those things. So we've got another lucid. So we've got two lucids, two lucids and a dreamer. So all of this stuff, man, we've, uh, <laughs> Lars says, I like how all of your head reflects almost all of the light. I, I feel I feel like I'm not as reflective today as I usually am. So you're welcome, Lars. So let's see here. All right. So so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do two boxes of stuff, and I'm gonna do my best to to uh, you know kind of mix up stuff so each box is equally as awesome. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to do my best. I do believe I also have a triple 28 from Vandy Vape as well for this giveaway. I don't have it here. Um, I'm also going to include a set of coils in both boxes. So you guys, the winners will receive a set of coils. Um, 
you know, and I'll contact the winners to see, you know, about resistance and what, what they're comfortable with. So, um, you know, that's, that is going to be how it is, but yeah. So I can't tell you exactly what's going to go in each box or who's going to get what box or anything like that. So, um, you know, what, what box you receive as a winner will be completely random. And so I'm sorry, you know, if you don't get the dreamer, you don't get the lucid, you know, that's just going to be kind of one of those deals. So, um, you know, there's nothing, not either. I, I have one dreamer, so someone's going to get it and someone's not. So, um, it's just going to be how it goes. So anyway, all right. So here's what's, here's the deal, right? So we're going to do a giveaway for one box and I'm going to try to split this stuff roughly in half, right? So each person will receive an equal amount of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do a randomizer here in the giveaway now. In fact, actually, you know what? I'm going to give, I'm going to give it 10, I'm going to give it like five minutes and then I'll do the randomizer. And, uh, you know, that's why, that's why Nightbot's here. So, um, you know, so that's, that's kind of how it goes. Lars says, can I also win just an empty box? I mean, you don't need me to give that to you though. So, um, okay. Let's see some of the chat here that we've got. We've got a lot of chat here. I kind of might, I might turn on slow chat. So let's see here. How many, how many people do we have watching this? Um, well then I got to refresh this real quick. 53 watching. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. All right. So there's no need to X1. Uh, Nightbot will just pick a random person uh, in the chat. So um, I will be doing that here in a minute. Uh, oh, yeah. The Wii 0609 uh, pizza code is, uh, you know, Demo 20 or Hungry Demo 20 at every pizza place. So uh, let's see. I wonder if I can turn on slow chat now or not because we've got a lot of people here pop out chat sign in to chat what the hell it says i'm not signed in okay there we go odd okay let's see here sorry guys i'm just dealing with a little technical issue right now all right so cool. Okay. Awesome. Nightbot sounds dope. Yeah. See, Nightbot is not dope. Just just saying. So I'm actually not at 1431, sir. I'm at 1457, but it hasn't updated yet. Uh Michael Diamantino ambitions. Uh, I've, not, I've not been commented. I've not been contacted about it. So um Shane tells me slow chat has to be enabled ahead. Well, okay. I'll make sure to sure to uh you know work on that there. Um, or I'll make sure to do that next time. So, yeah, I'm trying to make sure that this giveaway is good for you guys. You know, I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, everybody, uh, everyone, everyone gets as much stuff as possible. So that's why I waited so long. I could have done it earlier, but you know, I just wanted to make sure. So, all right, guys, well, let, let's go ahead. Um, you know what? Let's see here. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Everybody go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't. I would really appreciate it. Go ahead uh, go ahead and smash that like button. It would really be uh, really be uh, fantastic. I would really appreciate that. So All right. I just got to look up and see in the light, nightbot commands how to do a giveaway. Let's see here. Exclamation winner. Okay, that's what it's going to be. All right, let's see here. All right, everybody, good luck. Exclamation winner. Oh, see, Lars is not subscribed, man. You got to be subscribed, man. Got to be subscribed. So go subscribe if you want to win. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And he said he's well, shit. See, now I'm see now I'm in a tough spot because <laughs> Let's see here. I don't know. You know what? I'm sorry, Lars, but you weren't subscribed at the time of the giveaway, so I'm going to redo. Apologies. 
Yep, yep. It's going to be a redo. Oh, come on. Wait, what? How is tonight? Stan isn't subscribed? <laughs> Wait a second. It says Stan's not subscribed. All right, we're going to redraw. I'm sorry, Stan. <laughs> what the hell? What is going on here? How well, wasn't Stan subbed? All right. Wait a second. If if okay, hold on. Oh, interesting. Hold on. All right, hold on. I got to go back up real quick then. <sighs> see, now, if, see, if Lars was subscribed beforehand, see, he had to have been subscribed because I was not, uh, I was I didn't I didn't put this oh did he <sighs> guys this has turned into a fiasco I'm really sorry <sighs> what are you saying he admitted but I don't know some sub, but two minutes before the thing. Yeah, see, you know what, guys? If that's the case, if Nightbot is saying that, you know, that kind of stuff, everybody's saying just repick. God damn it. It's okay if you gave it, just give it to someone else. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, Lars. What the fuck? My, it keeps saying that I have to sign in. It's like unsigning in me. All right, 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 all right. All right, we're going to repick. Sorry, guys. Nightbot is apparently being stupid. No shit. Jump man. That's the second giveaway today. All right, there we go. That's it. Jump man. I know that Jump Man is a subscriber. I know that he is. Sorry guys. I know that he is. He subscribed to me over on Joel's thing. So it is definitely he is a subscriber. It's his subscriptions must be just hidden. So I know that Jump Man is subscribed. Jump Man is the winner. So that is. Yeah, it's it's as as someone said above. If the if your subscribers are hidden, then that is that is why you win, right? If your subscriber is hidden, uh, if your subscribers are hidden, sorry, if your subscribers are hidden, that's why it says you're not subbed. So it's uh, it's kind of hard to to do that. So anyway, Jumpman, you are the winner, and you're gonna win one box, and I can't guarantee you what's gonna be in that box. Literally, what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm going to pack two boxes, shuffle them around, and then just go and slap a uh, slap a label on it. So it's it's going to be pretty random. No no idea, you know. I might even have my fiance pack the boxes for me. So, <laughs> you know. Now, to everyone who didn't win, everyone who didn't win, you can still win. If you go and X1 on my channel, uh, if you or if you go X one on the the replay comments for this video, once this video is done, the replay comments are going to be a second round of of giveaways. So go ahead and X one once this is done. Um, you you have not lost yet. So um, for that though, definitely make sure your subscriptions are public, please, because if your subscriptions are not public and I can't verify you're subscribed, then then I, you you will move on. So. 
Uh, make sure your subscriptions are public. That's just done in the YouTube, uh, you know, settings area. And, uh, you know, the, the reason why, uh, you know, so I'm really, I'm really sorry, Lars. I, you know, this, uh, I'll make it up to you. Well, uh, don't, don't you worry. I'll make it up to you. So, um, let's see here. I know guys, I'm really sorry. This, uh, this kind of, this kind of whole thing. I'm, I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not going to be doing the Nightbot giveaway again. I don't think, um, so Phil Lee, to make your subs public, you it's it's pretty simple. You just basically go up and let's see here. Kind of show you guys how to do it here. All right, let's see here. I don't know. See, I, I have a creator studio, so I, I don't have the same options as everybody else. But um, okay, so if you go to settings, if you go to the left hand side of YouTube and the little uh, three lines, and uh, you go to settings, and you go to privacy, there it is. Uh, if you go to privacy in settings, it'll say keep all my subscriptions private, uncheck that, and then uh, hit save, and then all your subscriptions will be public. So, um, you know, just, just do that. And if you, if you have trouble, Google it, the, the time for this one is going to be one week from now. So from today, when this video is done one week from now is going to be the drawing for the next giveaway for the next giveaway. So, right. So you've got plenty of time to figure it out. Don't worry. It's not going to be anything crazy. It's going to be a little, you have a week. So, um, you know, don't, don't get your panties in a bundle. Let's see here. Perfect. All right. So now that that is done, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for being a good sport about it, Lars. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll. All right. Here's the deal. Lars, uh, go ahead and email me at demovapes at gmail.com and I'll uh, I'll get something out to you. Well it won't be for this giveaway, but I'll get I'll get something out to you. Uh it, it defaults to private as far as I know. As far as I remember it, it I think it might default to private. So um so anyway so yeah. So, okay. So we've done that. We've done that first giveaway and, uh, you know, I'm going to put in the description, the info for the rest of it. You know, it's going to be, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll make sure that, you know, everyone knows how to, how to enter the second giveaway. So <laughs> Taylor Lewis says, Hey, it's me, Lars. Yeah. I'll have to figure out a way to verify. And actually, actually, Lars, you know what, if you really, what, what's a better way, because just, just, you know, for privacy's sake and whatnot, if you shoot me a message here on YouTube, then that would be better, because then I can verify that it's you. So uh, even if you've already sent me an email, shoot me a message on YouTube. So um, yeah, cool. Awesome. Um, no, you can't borrow, borrow my Ferrari, sure. Sorry. It's actually not even here anymore. It's in California right now. So, yeah, so everybody double check, make sure your subs are public because that is, um, that is for sure, um, the case. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, it's been a long day guys. Uh, let's see here. Oh, cool. Awesome. I'll make sure to keep that, keep my eyes on that. Lars SCH .com. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's just fine. Um, Jumpman wants to donate something out of his box to you. Um, okay. For sure, for sure. Cool, cool, guys. Well, you know, now that now that we've done that, you know, what's how's everybody doing tonight? Danny Castle. So my daily driver, my my uh year-round thing is 
um, that is going to be, that's a uh, Range Rover. I drive a Range Rover. So Monty, sorry, Monty. Uh, so we already did the drawing for the first box. So apologies, but we already did that. Um, the, um, what the fuck? Why is Nightbot going out at uh, Danny Castle? Oh, because of Caps. Timed out for five seconds, Jesus. Um, okay, so if you guys are late, we already did a drawing for one of two boxes. There is a second chance, though, that you can win another box. Don't worry. You haven't. You didn't miss anything. So we did a live drawing for the for the first box, and then if you go ahead and hit put an X1 on the comments of the video, then you will uh, you'll be entered in for the second box. So, yeah. So, uh, quest. There's a bunch of questions about what my tattoo is. My tattoo is. Uh, is a what it is is it's a medical cross the caduceus with the snake wrapped around it in a treble clef and this is in honor of my parents uh, both of whom are passed away my mom died when i was 21 and my dad died when i was 23 and uh so my dad was a doctor and my mom was a musician and uh so i thought that a good way to kind of pay tribute was to get a tattoo with both of those themes kind of embodied in it so um yeah, so that's that's and I, I got it right here. This was a one six hour session. And it was the most one of the most painful things that I've ever uh, ever done. So um, definitely. So everybody who's X oneing right now, don't X one here. Don't X one here. This won't this won't count. You gotta you gotta X one in the replay in the replay comments, right? If you X one here, you won't be entered. So just just making sure everyone everyone understands that because I don't I don't want anyone to get hosed because they they messed up and put it in the wrong spot. This is kind of the nature of giveaways, guys. I mean, like you know, like I do my best to make them as fair as possible, but you know, it's hard because when it's a contest, you know, people who lose get salty sometimes. So you never know. So <sighs> if you guys haven't tried this stuff. If you've seen it on Grim Green's vlog or my video that I just released in the TM24, um, this millionaire stuff from Independent Vapor Company is so good. So good. Um, it is my only tattoo, Taylor. Yes. Let's see here. Yeah, it's kind of a rainbow sherbet flavor. Very different than rainbow sherbet in the dark from Grim Green. I know, but you know what? Like, I just try to, you know, I try to keep everyone happy as best I can. So. Cool. It's got that, like, nice limey kind of sensation. Um, it's not, well, so, okay. People, you're asking me how it is on my coils. The answer is I don't. I don't really know because I just used it last night for the first time, but it so far hasn't caused any gunking. So, you know, uh, I, I know I noticed that sometimes uh, when you know when you with really sweet juices they gunk coils just super super fast. So, yeah, someone said something about battery safety. Definitely, always, 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 always. Um, I do love banana flavors, John. I really do. Um, Going to drip, what do you recommend? Like a dripper, are you asking, Bubba? Like, like what uh, what dripper I recommend? And hey guys, legit, 74, 7, 70, 71 likes with 64 people watching. I appreciate it. Awesome. Um, careful, Panda. Careful with those caps. Nightbot's out tonight. It's, uh, it's, it's going. Um, Taylor, I do have an L Thunder, yes. Uh, Banana Bondage is awesome. And as far as a good dripper to recommend, Bubba, um, it kind of depends on what you like. Do you like really airy draws or do you like really tight restrictive draws? Do you want dual coils or single? Like it's there's a it's kind of one of those things that it's a tough place to start because you know if you've never built before, I recommend going single coil because 
single coil is just easier to get. You know, tuning up one coil is a lot easier than tuning up two when you're when you're brand new. So, yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's not bad. Someone said something about cycling your cotton or uh, Panda did. Um, cycling your cotton does help. Eventually, your coils do gunk up regardless of what you do. But uh, you know that is the situation. So, um, Dave. O-rings, not that that's not a problem because I built this in California for the first time and it, it's same problems. So um, everybody wants a hungry, hungry demo, man. <sighs> hungry, hungry demo, hungry, hungry demo. <laughs> Boy. Um, Lars says I'm actually new to vaping. I have no idea what this means. Oh wow. Do you do you build coils, Lars? Or do you do you use any rebuildables or how new are you to vaping? <laughs> For any of you guys who aren't familiar with the one dollar reference, uh that was from Nick the set said that my friend Matt, Hemo Matt, who came up with the boy, well, he didn't come up with boy, but he was the first one to do it and he got kind of got me started doing it. Everybody said that uh, I need to give him a dollar per boy. And so everybody puts one dollar in the comments whenever I say it. Um, yeah, let's see here. Dehedra says, Demo, I used to use complex coils like corrugated, et cetera, but lately I get better flavor out of flat wire builds. So, flat wire, are you talking about the brand of flat wire? Or are you talking about like ribbon wire slash square wire? So absolute negative zero. I understand that, you know, I, I did see that, that that was the, the case, the staff without the wings. Um, but um, it is, you know, that's that's what always that's what I've always known it as. So the wings gave me an opportunity to, you know, the thing is the wings are kind of like angels wings. So, you know, I had to have the wings in there, you know, it's just, uh, it's just, it needed to happen. Let's see here. So, and that's actually, uh, you know, that's kind of, you know, the, my parents passing away is one of, is one of the reasons behind the story as to why I vape. Um, but that's for a different video. I'm going to do a video for that specifically, like a why I vape video. So, you know, check, keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, Chris Snyder, what, what are my favorite tubes? Um, the Admiral from, from Broadside or uh, BJ Box Mods is pretty legit. Um, the, the El Thunder is awesome. It's, I think, like one, I think it's like 130 excuse me it's like 130 or 140 or something like that um and uh, i have a white one a white coated one made of brass it's a great mech mod um purge stuff from purge i think is pretty good um i love my uh i love my uh, mmk vape work vape Valkstadt, um that i have and that is that is a pretty legit tube uh hmm trying to think what else I got. So let's see here. Lars says, do I like guns as a sport? I do own guns. Yes. I'm a, I used to, I actually used to do competition shooting back in the day. I was a uh, IDPA and IPSCA pistols and stuff like that. Uh, Mirko wants to do me to do a video on staple coil builds. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've done a lot of live streams for coil building, but you know, I'm definitely, I've got some coil build videos. I've thought about doing coil build videos for a long time, right? Um, oh God, the dreamer, Peter is, God, yes, the dreamer is a great mech. The, the dreamer is like a great starter mech because it's a great mech in general and I like it a lot, but it's also not super expensive. Um, I don't know why I forgot. I've got a, I've got one sitting right in front of me and I mentioned, you know, God, um, let's see here. Let's see here. Robert Shorky says, do you need to screw the positive pin all the way in? Yes. Always screw your positive pins down tight unless they're adjustable. Uh, unless it's a two piece pin that has like an inner pin and then another pin that goes up into it. Um, always want your positive pins tight. You want your negative pins tight. Um, you know, all that, all that good stuff. So TC vapes. 
see, I I was up until almost six a.m. trying to get my video out, so um, I am not. I am tired. So <laughs> I am tired. I think pod systems are coming soon. I'm going to start doing, I'm going to do some reviews on pod systems very soon. Um, Cause I've got a lot of pod systems that I just got in. I have like five or six that I just got in. So um, everyone's going to pods. So regardless of what people feel about that, I got to review them. They're products that are on the market. So let's see here. Um, Taylor. Oh, back up the brass or the Cerakoted. I have the Cerakoted uh, El Thunder and I really, really enjoy it. The Cerakote, the white Cerakote doesn't stain at all. It's pure white and I've used it a lot. So let's see here. Sleepy, sleepy demo. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> and it's eight o'clock at night here. So um, anyway, um, well, Tube with little risk of arcing. If you guys want like an arc-free tube, get a broadside or an admiral because the fact that those contacts are always in connection with the with the battery, there's no possibility of arcing. Um, it just, just doesn't happen. So, um, yeah, it's um, it's the it's as far as I'm concerned, it's the most arc-free mod that I've ever used. Um, one of the things that's nice about the L Thunder is the way the contacts are, is there's one contact that's always touching the battery, and then the other contact, there's another contact that touches the contact that's touching the battery. So when you get arcing, you get arcing between the two contacts and not between the battery and the contact. So that's another one. Um, Demo, I do not live in Texas. I live in, uh, I live in Minnesota. So, um, Lars... Show Thorst. Well, you must be really new if you're talking about exploding batteries. Um, I, I, I missed. I, how long have you been vaping, Lars? I missed. You must. If you responded, I missed it completely. Um, so, um, but battery explosions are um, battery explosions are user error in, pretty much all the time. Um, and the the key to keeping your batteries from exploding is keeping your wraps in good shape. You wanna make sure your battery wraps, the plastic on the outside of the batteries must not have any nicks, cuts, scratches, anything like that. If it if that happens, either get a new battery or or rewrap it, right? Um, and there are rewraps available. You know, that go on, if, you, if that happens, go online. There's tutorials on how to rewrap your batteries and stuff. You've been vaping for two days. Oh shit. All right, well, I'm gonna, Okay. All right. All right. That gives me a good idea of what, what I'm going to send you, Lars. Um, wow. That's awesome. Well, how did you, how did you find your way here? I'm just kind of curious. Um, you know, if you've been vaping for two days, um, good for you, man. Keep going, keep going. Uh, and yeah, Stan does have a battery route tutorial. You can go go watch Tenacious TX Vapes battery wrap tutorial. Um, the other thing that's really a, a, uh, something that you need to keep an eye out for battery, uh, you know, venting and explosions is output. So um, Lars, if you really want to like kind of get into this and like keep it, you know, keep yourself safe, there's a guy that you're going to want to check out and his name is Battery Mooch and it's M-O-O-C-H, Battery Mooch. Um, there's a ton of, there's a ton of information out there on Ohm's Law and, um, you know, stuff that you need to understand as to how, how many amps you can draw from your batteries with, with it being safe. Um, you know, there's a little bit to it, right? But it's not, it's not difficult. So um, just make sure you get the knowledge though, because you know, it's everyone who blows themselves up is always like, well, I didn't know, you know? And it's like, that's not an excuse, right? In a court, you can't say you didn't know. It's the same with that. You, you gotta know what you're doing. So, <coughs> you know, yeah, definitely. Um, <coughs> Lars, what are you vaping on? What what, what do you have? <coughs> Excuse me. Awesome. Yeah, Tenacious TX vapes. That's Stan. Um, let's see here. My friend vapes a lot, and he recommended me your channel. Awesome. Well, tell your friend thank you from me. Um, Tenacious TX vapes. Myself, 
Daily Vape TV and Mr. Just Right One do a live stream every Friday at 9 p.m. Um, it's called Vape Stew. It's over on Tenacious TX Vapes channel. Go subscribe to him. He's he's really cool. Um, Lars is a cheap Chinese thing. <laughs> well, look, that's kind of most of the product market. So if you if you if you can figure out if you can tell me what your you know if you still have your packaging or you know you can tell me what uh, your what you're vaping on, then I can get you. I, I'll have a better idea of what I what I should send you because I was just about to send you some coils and a rebuildable and stuff, but uh, you know, that's, uh, that's not, not, not right for uh, not right for a new vapor for sure. Somebody mentioned pods and they felt that like pods were going backwards towards cigarettes. Um, for me, I use pods because of the convenience, um, but it's, it's really good for newer vapors and people who are coming off of the cigarettes, right? Um, that's something that's important. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, we need to concentrate on getting more people into vaping, right? So let's see here. Let's see here. New to the channel demo, but I've enjoyed the content I've seen. Well, thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. Um, who said something? The after show is better than vape stew starts, Dan. <laughs> um, that's funny. I enjoy the after show, but I really enjoy the main show because we, we actually get to talk about some like real stuff, you know? Um, let's see here. Yeah, dude, you're, you're right. Vaping, vaping definitely saves lives. It's, it's, it's a real thing. So, um, and that's okay, Lars. You know, you said you don't have a large budget. That's okay. There's vape. There's there are good vape products at every budget. You know, at, at every price point. Um, you know, the the reality is, is, just like cars, every every category of price points has good products, right? So you just got to know which ones to to get. I love it when Stan is drunk. <laughs> yeah, dude. Vaping for six months, Bubba. Congratulations on six months. I so let me tell you something, Lars. Um, I have only been vaping for let's see, we're in March now, right? December, March. I've been vaping for a year and three months. A year and three months. So, um, I've I've actually been vaping for a not a whole long. It's not it's not been a long time, but uh, you know, I just I just kind of fell into it and just like just lost myself. <laughs> so oh i got one of the new uh the new uh shit what are these called jesus <laughs> navy blue jewels and i i uh i picked up the new uh cool cucumber pods and the cool cucumber pods are like really legit Let's see here. That's awesome. Cardmon experiences. You don't get drunk. You get tenacious. I'm uh, that's that that's legit. Um, yeah, jump man. I do build. You know, it's uh, it's th that actually for me was I think the thing that kind of kept me with it because it caught my interest. Oh, he did. Okay, hold on. Let me let me go back up and find Lars's comments. Parents both smoke. Coil father Q stick. Okay, I don't even know what that is. Gotta look that up. Will Father Q stick. Let's see here. So is it is it like a direct to lung product? Or is it uh, mouth to lung? It's it looks like it's direct to lung. Okay. So uh, just a reminder for everybody who's joined recently, we've already done a drawing for the first round of the giveaway. So one box has already been claimed, but there is another box that will be will be going. So if you missed that first one, after this video is done, comment an X1 in the comments of the replay, right? If you X1 here, it won't count. But if you comment on the replay, do an X1 definitely definitely go do that because there's still that other box and that will that will be drawn a week from now so give some people a chance to 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 kind of find it and you know
go for it. So let's see here. Oh, Yeti, you're you're fighting with Nightbot. Yeah, everyone fights with Nightbot. So it's an AIO. Okay. Let's see here. Um, so AIO, by the way, for Lars, AIO means all in one. So that's. It took me forever to learn what AIO meant. Like I was, I was always like, "What the hell is this AIO stuff?" And uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it means all in one. So, okay. Well, then you know what? I probably, you know what? I'm gonna probably send you then. I'm gonna probably send you Lars this uh, Inikin smart box. This is a good kind of, you know. I guess. You know, it's a, it's a decent mod to, like, go up to from an AIO. Let me just see. Is this even adjustable, or what is this? Maybe not. Well, no, no, it's fine. This will be fine. Yeah, get a little sub sub ohm tank up top. Cool. I'll probably send you that, unless I think of something better. Or the penguin. The penguin's more of an MTL vape, though, isn't it? Well, no, I guess it has. No, 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 okay. See, I haven't used the penguin, so I, I don't know. Um, penguin is MTL or direct to lung. So, um, yeah. AIO water coolers. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about then, Lars. Um, let's see here. Chris just said I've been vaping for 18 months and just learned what AIO means. Dude, I know, right? Like it's nobody says it. So um Demo, what's a new a good RDA for beginners? Um well, okay, so that's kind of a point of contention. A lot of people will disagree. I like a velocity style, anything with a velocity style deck um would be good. Um hey, question, Stan. If you're still here, do you think that Templar from Ogvape would be a good choice for beginners? I was kind of like looking into that and it looks pretty good. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll send you the penguin, Lars. I haven't decided. The penguin is pretty legit. Or this is not the penguin, this is the dolphin. Sorry. Jesus. Let's see here. If you're new to building though, you know, you might uh okay, so Tenacious says no. Um, you might consider a single coil RDA because um, the single coil is a lot more easy to build than dual coils because you don't have to manage, you know, two coils at the same time. So yeah, Tenacious says the ghoul. The ghoul might not be a bad choice. I don't really know if it's that great of an RDA though. I've I've kind of juries out still for me on the on the ghoul. Um, yeah, the Blitz Enterprises ghoul would be decent for your first one. Um, let me think about that real quick. The bond, well, the bonza might not be that bad either. Bonza might be a good choice. That's pretty good, easy to install on. A troll, tenacious TX. I just get a troll. <laughs> troll is like cloud chasing. Don't make it too nice. Oh, dude, this uh, this guy, this is a, a fairly cheap, it's a fairly cheap kit, but it's it is good. By accident, not on purpose, demo. <laughs> yeah. So you got a lot of you got a lot of recommendations in there. The drop might not be a bad choice either. Frankly, it's uh, um, I think it would be reasonable. And honestly, I feel like the I feel like the TM twenty four Pro is pretty damn easy to build. Um, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty legit and it has a single coil chamber reducer. It is 60 bucks. So it's, it's a little bit more pricey, but it is a very nice RDA. You don't think the drop? I guess if you want a dual coil, the drop might be uh, a good choice. See, I, I think the drop is fairly easy to build on, to be honest with you. Demo asked a minute ago, have you used the Sir Lancelot? I use mine on a regular. I've never used it. No, I know. That's what, look, look, Stan. Hey, you, this is my channel, bro. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, here's the thing. Like, 
Yeah, it's it. It just depends on your budget, right? It really just depends on your budget because if you can, if you can, if you can stomach the fact that you spend sixty bucks and then not like it necessarily, then you know that's fine. But you know, if if not, then yeah, there are other ones for sure. That's why I said it was sixty bucks. Let's see here. Yeah, Dead Rabbit might be a decent choice too. Dead Rabbit SQ. Okay, hell, wait, wait, wait. Okay, Dead Rabbit SQ. We've not seen any. Um, we've not seen any of that from the comments. I don't think the Dead Rabbit SQ might be a great choice too. Serial vape ideas. I really like the uh, Nine South and King's Crest collab. The Serial Killer Duchess. Uh, I think that's delicious stuff. Um, it's a great. It's like a like a Fruity Pebbles Tres Leches cake. I learned in a clone OG Tobe. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I would say, you know what? I would say for me that the Dead Rabbit SQ might be perfect, to be honest. Because it's a single coil. It's I find it really easy to build. And I mean, I'm a I'm a builder, right? But like you could put in anything into a dead rabbit SQ. So I would I would say that's a good a good a decent place to start. It's really tough, man. Recommending a, a, a new product recommending a product for a new builder is really tough because there's such a wide gamut of products, and some people have an easier time building on certain things than others. So, like, I, I and I personally am not a huge fan of clamp system RDAs, for example. I, I I prefer, you know, screws, but that's just me. All right, what's up? What's up, James? I saw you just sent me a message. Let's see here. Um, cool, cool. The clamp style decks are really nice for building really complex coils, in my opinion. They're really like makes it a lot easier if you have a really wide coil. But uh, I just I find that I I see that it's like I feel like it's just a little bit easier to build on post screw decks. But that's just me. Let's see here. Wasp Nano. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, the Wasp Nano. Yeah, okay. Wasp Nano. Wasp Nano, honestly, like, it's so cheap that uh, you just, you know, if you don't like it, you just toss it away if you really want. You know, it's like, it's like, what, 15 bucks? But, uh, yeah, and as far as, like, you know, as far as... Chris says it's overrated in his opinion. You know, here's the thing though. For your first RDA, does it really I feel like I feel like uh ease of build is more important than almost anything else for your first RDA. So let's see here. Yeah, try the Dead Rabbit SQ or the Dead the Dead Rabbit regular, the Dead Rabbit 24 is um Kind of more of a dual coil vape. I would recommend it for dual coils. I've tried it with single and it just doesn't perform the way that I like. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? As far as like building coils, you you know, I would just start with round wire. Get some like 24 gauge canthal or something like that and slap a seven wrap in there or something. But uh, obviously depends on your device, but you know, it's a good place to start. Let's see here. Ferro dripper tank is easy. Yeah. Now, see, that's that's one. That's a different story. Like single coil clamps in general, no problem with those. Single coil clamps are nice and easy. <clears throat> Ferro dripper tank. Ferro dripper tank was actually, I think the Ferro dripper tank was my first RDA, if I'm not mistaken. Because I was a Rip Trippers fanboy back in the day. Because I didn't know any, well... <laughs> I don't want to say I didn't know any better, but like I didn't, you know, know any of the details of, you know, the rip situation. So
Cool, cool, cool. Let's see here. You're not sorry, Stan. It's bullshit. <laughs> uh, let's see here. OG recoil, simple to build. Ah, I wouldn't recommend the OG recoil. First of all, good luck finding one nowadays because it's uh, you know they just don't uh, they don't really make them anymore. But but yeah, I don't know. It's it's a small RDA. It's a very small deck. If you're thinking about buying a Fire Luke mesh, stop thinking about it and go buy it because it's uh, it's in my opinion my my favorite sub ohm tank that's on the market. And I don't I don't really vape sub ohm tanks very often, but that's the sub ohm tank that if I was stuck with it, I would be like, okay, like that's fine. Oh, the fundraiser. You know that I actually donated a lot of money to that fundraiser. Actually, I I uh, I'm on the top of the list for the personal personal donations on that fundraiser. I don't, I don't, I donated more than rip trippers did. Just saying. If anyone has a chance of ever getting a rip trippers on a live stream, that would be me. <laughs> Cause I, uh, you know, probably not though. I could just use that as leverage though. I'd be like, yo bro, I donated all this money. All right. So I'm going to be going in about, uh, let's just say, 10 minutes or so at 8.35 here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and and uh, take off here. So we can answer some more questions, just shoot the shit for another 10 minutes. Uh, but I got stuff to do tonight. So, oh, Lars, H3H3 videos. I love H3H3's content. I think it's so funny. His stuff is so funny. The Vape Nation stuff is so funny. <laughs> It's hilarious. Sorry, guys. I keep itching my nose because my mustache is getting long and it's curling up into my nose. So, Phil Lee, Tiger Tech, Morpheus Springs, no screws to fuss with. Um, I'm not a huge fan. So, I've never used a Tiger Tech Morphe, but I've seen one and held one and touched one and like pressed the clamps and stuff. And I'm, I don't, uh, not, uh, not not really digging it myself, but that's just me. I don't think Rip can keep that act up for a live stream. I would be very interested to see what he would be like on a live stream. It would be hilarious, though. It would be just the chat would just be like, you know, just like going crazy. You're right, man. Absolute negative said he's like barely even doing a video a week. And it's 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 kind of true. It's he's not really doing much anymore. The drama surrounding him is, it's out there, dude. I'm not going to talk about it on here, but it's uh, its out there. It's, trust me, you won't have to look very hard to find it. See the white powdery substance or is it powdered sugar? Yeah, dude, I snort powdered sugar on the regular. I don't actually do any drugs at all except for, well... The one thing that we all think is not a the one thing that we all know is not a drug that everybody that the government seems to think it is. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see here. I'm trying to go up and chat a little bit and see if I uh, miss some something. Sorry, guys, if I miss anything that you put in here. There's a lot of people chatting right now, so it's kind of tough to see it all. Let's see here. Chris Snyder says, I snort donuts. Well, that's got to hurt, man. <laughs> that's got to really hurt. Sign in to chat. What the hell is going on? I keep, like, it keeps, YouTube keeps signing me out for some reason. Volcano for the vape win, says we. Yes, sir. Obnoxious characters get views, especially those in their late teens. I see what works real. Yeah, dude, you know, like, that's the whole thing of the, uh, boy, you know, that's that that really kind of has pissed off some people. I feel like a lot of people really don't like that. But I know a lot of people really do. And so what 
what is better to piss off some people for like, or to like be more conservative, you know, like, I, I don't know. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with YouTube tonight. It's been a little weird. So, so yeah, so I've got some, some swag that's going to be coming out soon here. I've sort of fallen off the rate of fallen off on the, uh, getting the swag done, but you know, the first things that are going to come out for me are going to be some of these microfibers um, as well as, hold on one second, guys. Let's uh, go back here real quick so I can get something to show you. If you haven't seen it. Vape mat. So this is the prototype Demo Vapes vape mat, but this is, I, th I think it's going to have more of a background than just a black mat with the Demo logo on it i know that he designs like stuff to go with your logo so i'm gonna i'm gonna get some of these kind of uh you know in the works as far as selling them i don't know exactly how i'm gonna do that but you know we're, we're it's a lot of things because i gotta set up a website and i gotta you know i gotta do all that kind of stuff so there's just a lot of moving parts for me to get those ready to go but there will be shirts and there will be hats um i was working with a with a company but uh, it didn't work out. Basically, the, the guy never got back to me. So uh, I'm kind of up for a new company to get shirts. And I know Tenacious, I'm, I'm actually going to talk to Tenacious uh, to Stan about it because I know he has a t-shirt company. So probably just go through, go through him. <laughs> um, let's see here. Who else throws vape expos besides ECC? Uh, vape Showcase? Uh, VCC, uh, National Vape Expo, Midwest Vape Expo. Um, uh, what else? There, I mean, I'm sure there are more, but there's there there are plenty. But yeah, it's it's primarily ECC, Vape Showcase, VCC, National Vape Expo, and Midwest Vape Expo are the ones that I'm really aware of, and the ones that I plan on. Well, I can't go to NVE, but uh, see Vape Dynasty. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see here. Foxwoods is a Saturday. I really wish I could have gone to Foxwoods. I'm so so bummed that I couldn't go. Yeah, dude. New Era 5950 hats. See, let me tell you something. One thing that I really want to do, and I don't know if this is really possible or not, but I really want to do some a, a run of some fitted caps for people with bigger heads. Like I'll do snapbacks for sure for most people, but I really want to do some like size seven and a half and up uh, fitted caps because I I wear an eight and a quarter. So oh dude John, I wear a three XL. There will be shirts for big guys. I want those to go up to at least five X if not six because there are some big big dudes out there. Um, let's see here. See here. Am I coming to Midwest? Yes, I will be at Midwest Vapor Expo. I will be there and I will be at ECC Detroit. Uh, and I'm also going to be back at ECC Ontario in the fall or late summer. So I'm, I'm definitely, you know, I, I can't go to every show. Like I really wanted to go overseas to do some of the UK expos. It's just not in the cards for me right now with my budget this year. So next year it's probably going to have to be, you know, the international stuff. Let's see here. Um, all right. Let's see. Uh, uh, West. Okay. So let's see here. UK Expo. Yeah. Vape Jam UK um, or London Vape Expo or stuff like that. Let's see here. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, just as a reminder for anybody, once again, for anyone who missed the, for anyone who missed the, the information on the giveaway stuff, we've already done the first giveaway. Um, there was, uh, you know, we did a giveaway live right away, kind of towards the beginning. And uh, there is another box though. There's, there are going to be two boxes for this giveaway. So if you missed the first giveaway or you know, well, I mean, all of you missed it except for uh, Jumpman. Um, so, but if you missed that first giveaway, 
once this video is done and the comments section opens, nope, don't don't X one here, don't X one here. Um, but if you if you uh, missed the first giveaway, when this video goes and goes up to watch the replay, go ahead and comment X one on the replay. Don't comment X one here. Comment X one on the replay. That will be drawn in one week from now, and uh, you guys will will uh, you know everyone everyone who comments down there will be eligible. Uh, giveaway is open for international uh, viewers. It is uh, going to be a situation where you'd have to pay for shipping. So if you're international and you enter and you win, then it is going to be your responsibility to pay for your own shipping. So um, that is just the only way that I can do international giveaways and have it be fair. So let's see here. So yeah. All right, guys. That's really about it for me tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. So, awesome. Demo out.